All right. So it looks like we're on. Um, you can always check your phone too if you want to. But hi, Polynesian community. It is our favorite time of the month where we have a Polynesian business owner on. And so today we I have the pleasure of having um, Saini Thunga on. And just remember, if you catch this live, please hashtag live. And if you catch this on a replay, please hashtag replay. And if you want your name to pop up in the comments, please let StreamYard have access to your account. That way I can actually see your name if you make comments. But if you make comments and I don't address you, I promise I will at the end of the, the interview, okay? But as your comments come up, I will try to read them, okay? So once again, I have the pleasure of having Sadie Donga on. I will have her introduce herself. Um, and then also what I like to ask all of our guests, Sani, is tell us one thing about you that nobody knows. Right now, <laughs> really? Okay. Well, no one knows. Well, they're gonna know now that I used to suck my thumb when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to suck my thumb and curl my topa right here. <laughs> used to be like, and then my mom used to get the the jalapeno when I'm asleep yeah. and put it on my thumb, and then I suck my thumb and my mouth be burning. And I'd be like, Mom. Oh my gosh. That's, that's one thing. I never yes. told no one. My family knows. <laughs> I never tell. Now everybody knows, right? Now everybody's gonna know. It's all good. That is so funny. <laughs> Sharing I that. Think it made my thumb stronger, like for fighting and wrestling and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> or you kidding. pass on your sex messaging. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one thing that no one knows, but now they know. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing that. And then if you want to introduce as far as what is your stage name and how did you come up with that? Yes. So my name is Saini Tonga. Um, I'm also known as Lady Tapa in the fighting world and in wrestling. And um, I came up with that name with the help of my sister and my family. They said, you should call your, before I even started wrestling, they, uh, I wanted a name that meant something and stood for something. So my older sister, Seppi, she told me, how about during the time Lady Gaga was out? So Seppi, my sister Seppi was like, how about you say Lady, but spell it like L-E-I for flower, flower lays, you know, for lay, like the flower yeah. lay welcome. And then added the D to just make it spicy, I guess. <laughs> And then Tapa from the culture, like the Tapa Claw, yeah. she said, you should have that name Lady Tapa because it stands for something. And when you explain the name, it represents who you are, our culture, where we come from. And when you step in the wrestling ring or the fighting ring, you stand for something You're for your people and your culture. You know, right, so right. that's how I got that name. And it just always stuck they never changed my name or made me something I'm not they loved it yeah that's awesome thank you for sharing that I had no You're idea um I'm so excited just to have you on just because I admire any Polynesians like I don't care who you are right as long right. as you're, you're doing something that is you're moving our culture forward and you're making a stand for women too, our Polynesian women. And I see you as someone who is, you know, uh, an example, a role model, but you're also strong and you're humble and you just, you're beautiful, right? So like, it was such a pleasure and just an honor that you accepted my invite because I do take this group seriously because I do want our people to just move forward and just, do things and make a name for ourselves because mm -hmm. I really believe this is our time. You know, mm -hmm. we're more mainstream. We have you and like all of these other legends that are coming up really mm -hmm. making a name for ourselves, right? And so I do, I, like I said, I really appreciate you doing this, um, Saini. And as far as- I appreciate as you. It's an honor. <laughs> it really you. is. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So 
let's just get into some questions, right? Because I know everybody wants to know what made you get into wrestling? My uncle, I've been around it all my life. My uncle is a barbarian. I grew up. Your uncle's the barbarian? Your uncle's mm -hmm. the barbarian? He is, yes. And he lives here in Charlotte, North Carolina, too. Really? So, ever since I was a little girl, I've always seen wrestling, been around the wrestlers. And my uncle, when I was 18, my uncle was told me that I should wrestle. But I already would, like played sports in high school. And um, I was focused on college because my parents wanted us to go to college and yeah, get a scholarship. So I played volleyball and basketball and ended up getting a scholarship for college and then went on to college. But over time, you know, I believe in the right time. And I felt like after going to college and all of that, uh, my I was watching wrestling one day and I thought to myself, one of my friends was like, why haven't you ever wrestled before? You'd be good and just talking me into it. So no lie. I said, you know, what? I'm going to call my uncle and ask him, you know, uh, how do I train to go wrestle? And when I called him, he had a long talk with me about wrestling. And then the next day he took me and I met him at the wrestling school. That's how I started just training. I, I didn't even know that you have to go like train. Like I thought you have to go like to WWE or some facility to try out, but it's not like that. It was actually a school here in Charlotte. And I went to that wrestling school and learned the art of wrestling. And then from there, the rest how is long, selling. How long, that, how long did it take for you to like train and get into that program to be able to like graduate and move on to actually like wrestling in the ring with other people <laughs> like yeah. you know? it's crazy because like i don't think there's like a time frame everyone's time frame in wrestling is different it just depends on how you pick it up and what you got to bring to the table i just right. happen to like think about my outfit like because i don't i don't i don't like to wear nothing that shows my body like you know, sexually, but I also like to be beautiful, but not be shown in that type of way, you know? So uh, at that time, a lot of girls, the thing about wrestling is like, I look and I'm like, man, they're like wearing like basically not knocking them, you know, <laughs> but showing too. So I wanted to create, um, I just like, I can't sew like that or anything, but I wanted to create something. So I thought about things where my friend, we got a king and a queen. I want to train, you know. When I walk out, I want to train that represents and the colors and stuff like that. So um, my mom, she sewed. She made me my first wrestling outfit, and I helped her, you know, and I wore it, and it just always stuck like that. Before I even went on to get a deal from the big wrestling promotions, I was just had I would come from wrestling and sit here do my homework think about what I would wear because that's what the coach would say who's your character what are you what do you represent when you come in I knew I was a tall girl I knew I had size and I knew I could never be small like the other girls so and I knew I wanted to represent my culture my family and myself so when I drew it on a paper my mom took cardboard and she cut them and didn't change my outfit so that's an hour I drove there which was three hours away one of them and when I came there I already had my gear I had my name together and I was still learning it's not like I knew everything that's why I went to that seminar because I wanted to get in the ring and learn from these professionals that were on tv you know and when I went to that it changed my life forever they seen me they looked at me and they asked me, like, what's your name? I'm like, Sany, but I'm known as Lady Topa. Why is your name like that? You know, this and I explained. I was shy because I was like, oh, my gosh. So I explained <laughs> to them and they're like, did you pick that outfit? Like, I, of course I picked the outfit I'm wearing. I said, my mom made my outfit. They asked me these questions and I and I was nervous because I always been shy. But um, from then... But then like a week later, I got a phone call and they were like, do you want to come up to um, Florida and try out? And I'm thinking, I've only been wrestling for like three months. Like, I don't, really? I'm still learning. Uh-huh. I'm still learning. And I didn't go around like being like my uncle's a barbarian. 
Right. But even when I went there, I never said nothing. But one of them came up to me and was like, I know your uncle's a barbarian. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. You know, I just. And yeah. then from then, it, the rest was, uh, <laughs> you know, it gave me an opportunity to be on a big platform. And I moved down to Louisville, Kentucky for a year to train under their facility and under their team. And then I went from there. It just opened up different opportunities. Wow, that's awesome. I'm impressed. That, yeah. So you like just shot up, right? It just seemed like it just happened so fast. Like, and I didn't know if I'm ready because I'd be like, I don't really know all of the, you know, they're like, no, you're ready. You got the look, you got the size, you, you're, you know. And then I just started getting confidence because I was like learning moves because people, you know, they say wrestling's fake and this and that. But I tell them what's fake about wrestling is the finish. Who wins? But the rest is for real. You feel when you fall. You feel someone like we, we, we get trained to protect each other. But we it's like teamwork in the ring right. to put on a, a athletic show for people that love the storylines of the different characters and what they do. Right. right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can, yeah. A lot of people always say, Oh yeah, it's fake or whatever. But when you see it, it's like, you know, that hurts. You're, you're still getting body slammed, right? You're still, yes. it's not like you're body slamming. You're in the air and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you feel it when you hit the mat, but you get trained how to take it. You know, right. you get trained yeah. to fall right because if you don't fall right, you're gonna feel it after the whole match. When you go after the whole job is done, you know, your body will take a toll sometimes. Right. You know, I've gone through some little injuries myself, but yeah. So, I was gonna ask about that. What has been your hardest challenging match where you just got tore back in the ring? Like, <laughs> oh man, it was. Before the show, just kind of going over a match and me picking up the girl wrong and tweaking my shoulder. And I didn't say nothing because I knew we were going on TV in a few hours and I had to be ready. So I'd never, I did, I kind of just went in the back and tried to work my arm out. But man, when it was showtime, my arm was hurting so bad, but I had to still show up and I didn't want to tell them that I was injured. So I just went in there and showed up. I said to myself, for this amount of time, you don't, you, it's showtime. No pain, nothing. You got to turn on. So that's what I did. But after the show, when I went back to the hotel, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my arm was like, so, but that was like the hardest. That was the hardest for me. Like every match is different, but that was the hardest for me because I was really, injured but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to mess up like you know not it was part of the show so I was like I could take this if I can't take it then I'll tell them but I could take it but all the moves we were doing in there and the lifting I had to do I was like oh my gosh after I was like thank you guys and then I went and got ice I was like yeah my shoulder and then when the show was over I was like I just want to get to the hotel so I could just be like oh yeah, pop your but, ibuprofen and just chill, right? I had to ice it and everything and had to go to the doctor. But other than that, like, every show is different and um, every performance is different of what you put on. So, like, I always know it's important to take care of, your, you know, my body yeah, and do the best yeah. I can. Because a lot of wrestlers, like my uncle, they, they, their bodies are kind of like over time, it just took a toll, you know, bad back, hands, right. and stuff like that. But so I'm thankful much- I don't have to take a lot of because right. most of the time they let me go in there and just boop, boop, boop. Your thing. <laughs> so, how much time are you actually giving, like when you are on? What is that? amount of time it, it, it depends because they'll they'll tell you you guys got like 10 minutes you know for right. your match or five minutes it just all depends everything's different for what kind of storyline they want and sometimes I don't even have to wrestle they just do something with me in the back <laughs> for the next the next show of what the story they're building with the character you know right, so it's right. always different 
what would you say like your all-time favorite wrestlers who inspired you the most like male or female mm, well of course period i love all the polynesian wrestlers i don't right. have like a favorite they all inspire me because there's only a handful of us you know right. yeah. in the yeah. wrestling world and so <laughs> so many of them inspire me because it's just if they inspire me because i know they're inspiring our culture you know yeah. and of course my my uncle who <laughs> got me into it um really they all of them even like the rock it just inspires me the polynesian wrestlers all of them from haku yeah. from the old school to the new yeah. school they inspire me because they're inspiring our culture. And that means yeah. a lot to me because we come from a small island where it's not. We dream big, but we don't know how to get to that dream. But right. we take the baby steps and doors will open as long as we don't give up. Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right. And I'm glad that you haven't given up because you and I know the Tonga twins, you know, are really the names right now, you know. And so I always try to promote you guys or just Polynesians in general mm -hmm. for our people and the younger generation to see like yeah. get after and stay after it because mm -hmm. you know, there's it's and worth a good opportunity. They came to me before they started in wrestling. We would communicate. And I remember on social media, um, Ashley reached out to me. And they're both the Tanya twins and they wrestle for wow. And um, she was just uh, telling me that she has a sister and they're like interested in wrestling as twins. I said, oh, my gosh, you guys better wrestle. You guys are twins, too. Yeah. And I was like, and they actually came here to Charlotte. We're so close. They came here to Charlotte. We went and trained. Um, they've been to my boxing fights, you know, like I love them so much and I'm so happy for them. And I yeah. keep telling them, keep going. Like, y'all are champs there, and I'm a champ over here for this company I'm working for now. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely, definitely admire you guys for that because it is. Thank it's just you. It's putting us out there, and it's letting the females and our younger generation of girls just, hey, you know what? You guys are the legends now, you know? And if they want to aspire to be that and, you know, get in a position – they know how. And so that's why having you on and all these other Polynesians that I interview monthly is just to help our community grow, share knowledge, and just to uplift each other and empower each other because we need that so badly, right? Yes, we do. Absolutely. So as far as like, what are some of your favorite like moves, submission moves that, you know, in wrestling, what do you love to do your favorite? Pin them one, two, three. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Finish. <laughs> no, I like um my favorite move. There was this one move that I did that is like one of my favorites is when the girl comes off the top rope and I and I and I punch her. You're just but like it's a grabbing punch. her. <laughs> yeah, because it just I think it's so simple, but it looks so Deadly, but I also like the Samoan drop too, you know, because it represents <laughs> our culture. Yeah, but I yeah. call it the top of drop. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as like who would be someone you'd be interested in wrestling? Like, is there someone that you really want to match with? That you yeah, I do. Nia Jax. <laughs> I told her, hey, let, hey, maybe one day we're going to meet each other toe-to-toe -to -toe size, you know, and put on a good hell of a show, you yeah. know? I, I would like to um, wrestle Nia Jax or tag team with her, yeah. Nice. Her, but I, um, there, is, um, there is also, like, Charlotte Flair. I like her, too. I also like Tessa. Um, she's a really good wrestler. We both work together, but we've never ever um, had a match together. So, okay. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And then, as far as like your training schedule, what does that look like? Like, you know, do you, are you on a strict routine? No. <laughs> it's like at the beginning when you start wrestling, like at my beginnings years ago when I started. It's kind of like once you learn everything in the ring, 
it's good to even go and like, you know, the moves and I'm at a point right now in my life where it's kind of like in here and it's just like, okay, get in shape, be in shape. When it's time to go, be ready, you know, kind of like fighting, fighting's different. When I'm like in the fighting world, when I'm in fight camp and not have a fight, that's strict. That's stricter than wrestling. Really? Wrestling, it's like you have to go Monday through Saturday training because, but wrestling's a little bit different because it's mostly like stay in shape because you already know like when you're in the ring, the wrestling movesets or the wrestling, you know, like most of it's just staying in shape. So I try to not eat a lot, but I love Yeah, you mean, are you, are, you on, are you on a strict diet? Like, are there foods that you stay away from or do you just eat everything? No, no I eat everything. I like to eat. I don't, I never, I'm not a person that, I, I the word diet is what? Like, I just feel like people, when you say diet, like you limit yourself, like just eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like. If you like chicken, eat, eat chicken, but just watch your portions, you know, like, that's how I am. I've never had to, like, be on a diet to, like, because, you know, yeah, I just kind of, yeah. I believe that just eat healthy and eat what works for you that make you feel good. Because yeah, right. diet. Do you, is there anything that you feel like you need, like just to keep up with your strength or just to build on it? Are you taking like protein, whey protein? Are you doing supplements? Like what's in that regimen? Mm, I'll drink protein shakes and stuff, but the diet that I'm on, as long as I have rice, chicken, and vegetable, that's my diet. <laughs> Okay. For, you know, like I like eating. I don't, I don't really have a regimen because sometimes if you, if I wake up and I don't like, I'm not a breakfast person, so I don't ever eat breakfast. I never been like that. So I like to eat my meals in the midday. And then sometimes, you know, at night I get sweet tooth. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I think we all, yeah. So yeah, you are a female. You are Polynesian for sure. I am. <laughs> I just like, you know, I don't feel like in life, like if you're, if you know what you want, and you know, like, where you want to go in life, like, what I, what I eat, like, I'm always going to enjoy to eat. I don't restrict myself or, like, punish myself or starve myself, you know, because I don't believe in that. I just believe in, like, okay, when it's time to work, okay, what you got to do? You know, okay, you you have a fight, you have to be this way. Okay, then I, I put myself on, like, chicken rice vegetable fruit like I stay like that I don't like I won't eat sweets like that I won't I drink a gallon of water a day you know like stuff like that and wrestling it's a little bit different do you eat Tongan food do you like I like, love it I love sopa food I love otha <laughs> yeah every time I go to my family's all I want to do is eat Polynesian food you know? but I I don't but the thing is I don't eat like pork even though we we cook the pig like and stuff like that. I just never like to eat pork. I just like chicken and fish, shrimp. I never been like a steak eater or anything or pork eater. I'm not knocking all of you guys. Yeah. You no, I the pig. I love yeah. pig too. I love looking at. It. <laughs> yeah, we love looking at, it. and I think I'm the same as you. I don't really indulge in it, but you know, it's cool. I'll get it. But there's been times where I have to eat some of that pig. You know, right. like I went somewhere and they made the pig and, you know, because I, I came for something, I respect, I'm going to eat the pig. Right. You're eating the crispy part. You're looking and for my that. sister looking at me across the table like, you better eat that pig. And I'm like, I'm going to eat. Is there anything that you would do differently now that you're like a champion belt holder that you would do different when you started? No, because I feel like God already had it all laid out for me, like how it's supposed to be, you know? Nice. So I learned to over time, like, I don't regret anything, how it started or where it's going, because I truly believe that God has the blueprint of my life and your life. It's going to go how it goes. So right. to me, it's always just keeping that mindset of knowing that God got me. This is how it's laid out. I don't regret nothing that I'm thankful for the 
the past, present, the now, and the future. Oh, right. and by the way, guys, I I had to make do sure it. that you guys see. Yeah, please do, please do. You want to see? This is the Ultimate Women Wrestling Champion belt, and nice. it's actually heavy, and it. <laughs> And it smells good. It smells like, like leather, or it smells like leather, what? and it smells like winning. <laughs> We're all winning <laughs> because people don't know this isn't just for me. Like right. when they ask me, "Oh, you're the United States," I, I tell them I'm the tongue and champion of the United States. <laughs> and I told them like holding this title is bigger than me. It's it's who I represent. It's it's right. in hopes for everyone that's Polynesian, girls, women, the guys, the boys, like, hey, you know, it's not even about wrestling to me. It's about winning in life, like setting right. your goals and going after it. So Absolutely. so all of you guys out there, whatever you set out to do, you can do. And this is for yeah. you. Yeah, I love it. How long have you got that built now? Man, can you believe it? I'm the first champion ever holding this title and the first Tongan to ever hold this title. And I've had it for, man, I, I think almost a year and a half or something. Really? I, or a long time. So no I, one, ain't nobody trying to come after you for your belt? Hey, they sent them my way, but I was like, Lord be with me. Boom, bop, bam, <laughs> got it. We're walking away with it again. <laughs> And my next my next match is in San Antonio, February fourth. Yeah, okay. to defend this. So yeah. I'm excited for that. So who's so up? if you're in Texas, yeah, San Antonio or near, come on out. San Antonio. You can message me <laughs> or message. Yeah, you know, for a ticket, I got you. Come. Nice. Um, That's so she, mm -hmm. So how do you feel now, like being a legend? Because you are a legend now, right? It's funny that you're saying that because I don't even feel like a, I am. Like, I just feel like I'm doing what I love. Like, that's a strong word to me. Right. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, but I'm thankful. Yeah, I'm thankful. True. I feel like I'm a pioneer for the next. You know? yes. <laughs> like, yes, absolutely. Because you're going to go down in history. So that is yeah. an awesome responsibility. Well, I hate to say responsibility. But it kind of is, you know, and yeah. in, a, in a sense, a role model, too, and an example. And that all goes hand in hand, you know, because mm -hmm. when it comes down to it, they're going to remember your name, you know. So that's that's you know. true. Like, it is true. And it all. Hey, guys, it all started with just an idea. Just me right. picturing myself that I can stand. You close your eyes, and if you can close your eyes and picture yourself somewhere, and you actually see it, that right. means you have vision. That yeah. means God placed that in your heart, in your mind, that you close your eyes and you dreamed it, and you could imagine yourself before you're yeah. there. Yes, because the yeah. day I, I, I'll never forget when I I had the first time I had to walk in front of thousands of people. I almost thought, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because I'm just so nervous. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to walk out here and be like a beast and a, this character and I'm freaking out right now, but no one knew. They're like, you ready? You ready? I'm like, yeah. But inside of me, I'm like, whoo, because I remember the curtains being closed and I can hear the people. And yeah, I'm you just hear the audience. And there's a, there's a guy, a stage guy right there and he's giving you a countdown. You ready? And he's just showing me fingers. I just remember seeing his fingers. <laughs> Had a headset and the mic on, and I remember I was so nervous. And then I just remember I closed my eyes and I breathed, and I'm like, "Thank you, Lord." I was like saying a prayer in my heart, and then I was like, I opened my eyes and I remembered that I pictured this moment. Nice, you know, like months and a year before that moment, you know. And I, I remember, I'm like, yo, this is how dreams come true. I remember before it happened that I pictured myself here. I'm actually standing here. Right. And I remember after I went out and came back, I cried because I was just like, man, this is crazy. Like, I really went out there and did this. And I came back and they're giving me good feedback. And all I can say is thank you, thank you. Right. You know, because I was really thankful because they didn't know, like, Man, I, I literally dreamed about this moment and it actually is here. 
And I could, That's I'm living proof like dreams come true. Yeah. It doesn't matter how little or big it is. Yeah. That's Great. Awesome. You're about to tear me up right now thinking <laughs> about that. <laughs> No, oh, but you know what? That's well deserved. And you know what? I give you much props for that because you know what? I think it's one thing for our people to understand that don't give up on yourself. If you yeah. really believe it, you can achieve it. And it's so yeah. true. And you're living proof of that. That's something that I wholeheartedly believe in. You know, I like to say daily affirmations too. I like to mm -hmm. say, what I see myself at. I see it and I know that I'm going to get there. You know, mm -hmm. right. it does take baby steps. And sometimes you're challenged, you're by yourself. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you're, sometimes you're battling things, but if you know, with God, anything is possible. That's you know, right. Yeah, you're proof of it. So, and I'm honestly, crying because it's tears of joy. Like I just flashed back to that moment. And I was like, Dang, that was such a awakening moment in my life, you know, just for me to know, like, I you you could dream things, and I was I remember being younger, dreaming things, but never really mm, just brushing yeah. it off. Yeah. And but now, now I'm thankful because it brought me here to you to yeah. even talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. And just to share with our people, and that's just the main thing is for us not to give up because I know. We get a lot of criticism, you know, we can hear a lot of, yeah. even within our culture, just mm -hmm. bad mouthing and just putting each other down when, you know, God created us. He's the one that has a plan for us. We're here just trying to fulfill those dreams, those duties, and figure out what our purpose is, right? Because we all have one. Exactly. And it's like, I just want us and our community to know that, you know, because I feel like we're so blessed. Like we are like, I could talk about Polynesians on and on and on because I just, yeah. it was so heavy in my heart that we're not only beautiful, we're smart, we're intelligent, we're so capable, we're strong. Mm -hmm. You know, the men are handsome. Like I think it doesn't get better than this, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's lot something about our culture that holds us together to right. me. When you yeah. look at other cultures or American culture, like the culture we have is so strong and what we come, like what we're built off of, like family, who we are, something, we're always about our family. And, and sometimes we can get stuck in that, right? We can get stuck in the ways of how our culture raises us to be. And we forget that we can dream or we can do other things we don't have to continue a cycle that needs to be broken you know yeah, absolutely absolutely and that's why our parents left so we can fulfill those dreams so we can do those yeah. things right mm -hmm. and make, make our little island shine and yes. you know spotlight and I feel like it's our time for our island to spotlight you know because that's right yeah, we are strong people. We are the warriors. You know what I'm saying? We're here. We want to conquer. It's yeah. in us. You know? mm -hmm. So totally, totally, totally love it. Um, just a few more questions and I'll let you go. I know it's late out there. I didn't realize, guys, that she's Girl, out you're there. good because I'm having fun talking to you. <laughs> she's three. <laughs> I feel hours. like I'm talking to my, like, sister <laughs> and we're over here just, like, making a move for the community and for yeah. the Polynesian people. And I'm all for it. <laughs> Definitely. Well, hey, you guys. Yeah, no, go ahead. No, I said, don't play. If you guys are over here, like, tuning in, you never know. We might be having something going on in the future for all of you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> if anyone was interested, like, in getting into wrestling, what is the cost like? What, what does that look like? Like, starting well, first of all, everyone's cost is different but every state has a wrestling school and if you google it and you look for wrestling schools and it shows you and if it's near your area go to it and then let them know hey i want to wrestle and they can tell you information from there because the wrestling schools everyone has their own different kind of like set price or how you go about it you know because once you do that even though it's local You'll learn basic skills and you'll learn how to, you'll learn the art of wrestling. And then once you get it down, they usually, they'll put you in shows to do it locally so you can get used to the ending. 
Then the next step is like, okay, get the context for the big league up on top and reach out to them, send them, put together a portfolio of a picture, face picture, full body shot, and a bio about yourself. Okay. And then ask for a tryout, you know? And I'm here. You can reach out to me, and I can help you walk you through it, too. Nice. Thank you. So anyone who's yeah. out there, um, Saini, just shoot her a message, inbox yeah. her. She's happy to help you guys. You know, we are here for our community. And I did just want to go over some of these comments, because I did have a few, and I just kind of skipped <laughs> over it. Let me just read a little bit. Hey, this is the only time y'all will see me cry on an interview. This is the first time oh. I ever cried. It was just happy tears because I'm just so, yeah. I'm just so happy and blessed to be talking to you. And I'm, Good, so I'm glad. And I'm glad that you feel that way because I, I can feel that. And you know what? I know that feeling that you had going into the ring and those experiences is something that you'll never forget. Like just talking about it will bring back those memories and those yes. feelings like it was just yesterday right like mm -hmm. you were just in there for um, real okay so i have a water splash thong sign fist pump beautiful okay, how are you doing fist pump yeah, fist pump beautiful splash, how, splash. how you got the wrestling name yeah it's our time love it shine keep shining ladies um high five love it Y'all come splash with us January 13th. I'll put you into the VIP where y'all supposed to be in Sacramento, be California. Sacramento when? Go yes. ahead, drop the date. January, I'm January 13th. So the date is on there. He said you'll be VIP. So, okay, let's not forget that. And then, for real, for real. Uh, yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> so we got a concert coming up, probably a poly concert. So let's uh, check that out. Okay, and then, make sure, yeah. yeah. And what is your Instagram if you want to drop that? My Instagram is at Lady Tapa. It's L-E-I-D-T-A-P-A. -A. Gotcha. Follow okay. me and I'll follow you. Sweet. Saini, are you single asking for a friend? That's another I'm, one. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually a gay and yeah, and my I'm sorry, yeah. It's okay. I mean, hey. You gotta, I can't do single. I heard nowadays in the single world is a very different kind of uh, single. world for the single. <laughs> I just stick to my work and stick to my family, and I'm thankful for the relationship I have with my partner, CJ. I love you. Hey. A heart for my honey. Yes, CJ. That, that's he's for the least too, and he's a good guy. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that because you got some fans asking. Um, we got hap uh, happy face, pin up girl, one, two, three, good move. Do the top of drop, Nia Jax, top of drop next champion. Yup, let's go. Heck yeah. Just the pigskin. <laughs> I can do that. The people's champion. <laughs> Blueprint. I love the plan. Speech. Let's go. There's the belt. First this champion. For you, this is for you. Yes. <laughs> hey, don't play. And if we come for VIP, I'm bringing the belt for you. Hey, did you hear that, Splashy? She said it. You heard Splashy, it here first. <laughs> we're coming with the belt to VIP. Sacramento, for you. Sacramento January 13th. Keep that lock. I have a right. lot of family there. <laughs> right. Yay. We're going to have to figure something out. We're, we're definitely going to come out, right? When yes. you're in town, so you just let me know. Cause then we're I gonna might be. I I because I am gonna be um in uh, California <laughs> in January, so we might be there. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Belt mode. We got that comment coming in. Um. All right. Is there any last words or last tips or any advice that you would like to leave off with our community before we end it and let you go sleep? <laughs> oh, girl. Hello. We team no sleep. When you're on the grind, you never sleep. You're constantly <laughs> like. But I do like my nap. But I, I'm always on the grind as far as like what I do and in business as a Polynesian woman, as a Polynesian woman. So I like to stay good, busy. Um, but to leave you guys in closing with the word, I just want to, first of all, thank you for having me on to share my journey and what I do with everybody. And also, I just want to tell everybody, you know, we come from a small island and whatever you dream in life,
believe in yourself, you know, believe in yourself so deep that no one can make you not believe in yourself, you know, because we all have different paths in life and paths in life that we are going in. And we also have goals or dreams. Everyone does. I never met a person that, that never had a goal or dream. Everyone does. And I just want you to know, like, it's not an ever easy road, but you got to have faith in yourself. You got to be consistent. You got to show up daily for yourself and believe in yourself, you know, because you can do it. You can do it. And and I'm here to help if I can. You know, I don't know everything, but I just want to tell you guys that I'm here to help if I can, because I love to see anybody do good in life. But I have a special love for our Polynesian people and for where we come from. All of y'all sit right here in my heart. Everything I do is because I always think about it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I always think about what I'm representing, who I'm representing, where I'm from. My parents remind me these things, you know? And and I'm just thankful to God, you know? I, I want you all to know, too, to always be thankful for God. Because without him, however your life works out, God already knows your blueprint. He already know who you are. He brought you here for a purpose and a reason. Right. And don't give up on that. It doesn't have to be what I do. It doesn't have to be what sis does. It doesn't, it could be, you could be the best teacher. You could be yeah. the best mother. You could be the best sister. <laughs> you could be the it doesn't janitor. even matter. You could be the best flight attendant. Like half <laughs> my family love working at the airport. I'd be like, can I get a buddy? Yeah. I'm just saying, but you could be whatever you want. Just believe in yourself. Break them generational curses that we right. grow up in. Our culture mm -hmm. grows up in this certain way yeah. of how we should be, you know, right. and it's nothing wrong with that because right. our parents and our grandparents, they only yeah. teaching us what they know. It's our turn to step up to teach ourselves what we're capable of. And it's our, our turn to step up and teach our families what they're capable of and, and also for our friends. And it's so important to show love and support, you know for what anybody does you yeah. know because even for me you know people will like say what they want to say but I know me well enough to know that God got me because my my heart and my intentions for others always to win that's why when people say let me see your tattoo I go can you what say it? every season is winning season nice so this that's right I see you yeah, it's Sorry. winning season. Got it. And that means it's your season. Every season is your winning season right. and your time. So always believe in yourself and know that it's your time. It's your season, every season, and you can win. Nice. Thank uh, you so much. I love thank that. You. I thank you. Thank you. Much. I mean, I love this interview. I think our audience will definitely love it because they always watch on replay. I don't get a lot of lives on the comments but girl they come back right so it's yeah. all but thank you sadie for coming on i totally thank you I loved having you on i can totally feel your spirit and just the passion that you have is you know our hearts are the same you know what i mean yes and we want our culture to win just as much as we want to win too so that's right that you take care out, out there. Ofatu Saini. Ofatu, and thank you so much for having me on. You're welcome. <laughs> Blessing to you, and you keep on doing your thing because you have a bomb. Thank you for giving me a platform to share my journey and my life, and I really appreciate you. Oh, and you're welcome. You again. <laughs> have a good night. Yeah, we'll okay. definitely keep in touch. This is not the end. All right. Love y'all. Yes, good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. I just want to say thank you to everyone that um, caught us live. If you happen to catch this live, remember hashtag live. If you caught this on a replay, please hashtag replay. I really hope you guys learned a little something and got to know Lady Tapa a little bit better, just like I did. Saini Tonga, please find her on IG, on Facebook. She's on all social media platforms. And if you're interested in having a mentor, um, if you're looking at a wrestling career, hit her up. She did say that she would help you out, okay? So thank you for anyone that's joining me. Um, I will catch you next time. 
you guys have a good night. And if I if I'm not on before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Okay. Be safe, guys. Have a good night. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.